Hi, homesteaders. Does your place look like mine? <laughs> I'm a planting fool. Anyway, I took a little break from planting seeds and everything, and I watched a few videos, and shout out to Lisa at Yogi Hollow Farm. She gave me the idea here to use coffee container. And um, so I improvised a little bit more on that. I recycled a potato chip bag to go inside to block the light that might be coming through this red container. And um, instead of using the rock wool or the net cups uh, and the clay uh, stones and everything everybody's using, instead I just uh, sliced up a pool noodle. That should work just fine. It'll let some oxygen in. It'll hold the plants in there secure. And um, okay, the whole idea behind these, uh, this, oh gosh, what was it called? Passive hydroponics or something, is um, you don't have to change your water and you don't have to have an air pump to pump oxygen in on these hydroponics. Uh, there's no electrician, or electrician, well, you don't need electrician when you don't have electricity. No need for electrical motors or pumps or anything. And um, you should keep your containers dark because you don't want any light to go in there. So that's why I did the potato chip bag in this container. And I cut out the little hole and I put my little disc in there I made from my pool noodle. And I don't like the red and black, so I will put that in a more colorful container and I get an idea later this season I'll show you what I come up with with different color sand buckets I got these uh, black buckets they're like three gallon from the dollar 25 tree it used to be a dollar tree of course and I'm um, gonna use those for my crack key hydroponics and um, to seal this put a lid on it. I had some styrofoam board that I cut and when I push it down there when I get the plants in and everything it'll be really tight Then there won't be any opening showing no light can get in and um, I think I might try to cram them in there and uh, join uh, bake a leg and dig it uh, salsa with me challenge um, I think I might do uh, cherry tomatoes, onion, lettuce, green pepper, or uh, hot pepper, or cilantro. Haven't decided yet. Whichever's going to come up first, I'm going to put in there. And um, the water, you put your nutrients in your water. And the whole idea behind this, which is so awesome, I think, is you'll fill your water level up when you put your plants in. And then you don't touch it for 30 days. You don't have to do nothing. Because by the time the water level evaporates, your roots should be established. So they'll get the oxygen they need. And then by the time your uh, water level is gone and uh, used up by your plant sources, they should be ready to harvest. Well, that's the theory behind it all. Anyway, I'm experimenting. Uh, I plan on growing in every way that I can find this year. And uh, all different kinds of experiments. And, of course, i got to do a little artistic flair. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with all these buckets that i got. i got all different colors. And um, I don't know if they'll all be hydroponic, but they'll all be in a setup. And maybe something artistic if my idea works out. Anyway, thank you, Lisa, at Yogi Hollow, Yogi Hollow Farms and for the original idea here. And I hope you don't mind I improvised and changed the idea a little bit. But I like to experiment and I'm cheap. I like to use what I got on hand and buy cheap things. And I'll upcycle all my coffee containers this year. I got a lot. <laughs> and this is an awesome idea to use it for the craft key hydroponics. Anyway, I hope you all... We'll be inspired to try some hydroponics this year, and I'll let you know how this all goes.